in, slammed her windshield that's now broken. She's visibly upset in the front seat. Someone has a bat. Someone has a bat right here. There's a couple people out here trying to keep the peace. This, uh, this is not good. This is not good. This is not good at all. We've, uh, this is the second altercation involving protesters and a motorist in the last uh, 30 minutes. Again, we're at Alder and Grand. A protester uh, broke the windshield of the, uh, of the woman's car here. Let's see if we can get a shot of that. Corey, can you get a shot of the window? I think okay, he's Corey, trying I want you to move out for your safety. Yes, Mike, we want to make sure that you and, uh, and your photographer are safe. A lot of people just trying to get their own video of it. It seems like this is a moment where it seems like the police would intervene. And it's a scary moment for that woman. Yeah, you're exactly in. right. This is this is this is what motorists are extremely frustrated. This hands-off approach by the police bureau leaves them hanging out to dry out here in situations like this. This woman is by herself surrounded by protesters, hundreds of them. Her windshield's broken. She claimed to have had an emergency that she was trying to get through for. She's visibly, she's visibly upset. Protesters allege that uh, she tried to run over a kid. I, I can't agree with that. I was out here, and someone jumped in front of her car as she was slowly trying to drive away. And like, what happened to her windshield? Did she hit that with a bat? I don't know. I just know I heard of a big crash and then people running from the windshield. Um, I believe it was a bat or someone's fist. We have seen pro some of the protesters but I, carry you know, I'm going to move away here. That, we're going to move away here just because she is obviously face. visibly upset. Tears coming down. Tears coming down her face. And, uh, and you, you know, no again, she's just anywhere? out here to fend for herself. Uh, nope. Excuse me? No police anywhere. No police. Nope. Not one officer. No, not that I see. Nowhere. There were a couple people. There that hasn't came been in, one. Uh, to try to keep the peace. I think they came in from the Shell station. They were parked uh, at the Shell and saw something was going on, and they raced over, and that's when things escalated. That's when you saw the pushing and shoving. Uh,